So today we will talk about the children's and youth participation. There are three levels of possible participation. The first level is consultation. So we consult with a group of children or young adults about our adult idea. And they give us their opinion about it. And perhaps we will be influenced by that opinion and we may make changes accordingly. Second level of participation is when children and young people are collaborating with adults to develop some common goal, some common good. So they are more involved now, they are partners for adults. They have equal voice and they have equal input into whatever there is to be developed. And the third level of participation is when uh, children and young people lead this participation. So when they lead on projects, when they lead on research, uh, when they make their own decisions throughout the whole process, from planning through execution, uh, through analysis, every single step ahead, every single stage is child or youth led. And adults are then just consultants or uh, experts that are just behind the scenes facilitating that true and deep level of participation. I would like to introduce you to Eva and I would like to ask Eva why is it important for children to have a voice? I think it's important for children to have a voice because it helps them develop certain skills and learn how to put their point across in a polite way without offending anyone whilst being able to express their opinion. It is something that takes years of practice. It's good to start early on. It can give children confidence so that in the future they will not be afraid to express their beliefs, thoughts and opinions and to challenge things that are not right. Children can also get away with being honest and with saying the truth that adults may sometimes find difficult or embarrassing. Moreover, I think that not giving a voice to children removes their agency, removes their right to be included and valued. It creates a system of oppression where one group takes all the decisions about the other group. By having a voice, they may help to change the status quo as they may see things that perhaps adults do not see anymore. Children participation is a right. Children have a right to have a voice. And in the convention, it is established that this voice should be given from the time when they can make informed decisions about themselves. But if we look at Bobo by Janusz Korczak, he perhaps claims that children can communicate much earlier on and therefore should be listened to much earlier on. Practically, since the day they were born. So let's meet Bobo from Janusz Korczak novel. 